Hey guys, today I have a shopping haul for you. Last week I actually went on a work trip to Minneapolis uh, and I guess their main attraction and what they're most known for is the Mall of America and I'd never been there but I've always heard magical things about it so I was really excited to finally be able to go. What's great about Minneapolis and um, Minnesota in general is that there is no sales tax on clothing or shoes or like belts and scarves and stuff so i really took advantage of that <laughs> and um so i'll show you what i picked up start with the non-luxury stuff first so my first thing i actually needed to get was um was stuff for work so when i went i just had my um luggage and i wasn't thinking and i didn't have an actual bag to use at my actual work conference and so i needed a just i just wanted a cheap tote bag um to use when i was at the conference to hold my laptop and everything um i usually pack a one of my longchamp tote bags but i just totally forgot so i just wanted something cheap so i went to forever 21 and i got this tote bag and what's great about this is it has a bright red lining and it looks like a uh it's inspired by christian louboutin so it even has the little pouch and even the pouch has that red lining and I was like, wow, this, and it's really nice. Like the leather is nice and soft or pleather or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was a really cute tote bag that I would actually probably reuse if I just wanted a plain black bag. And it didn't have a huge logo on it or anything. It just is very plain and it's very light. So this was perfect to hold my laptop. And then at the conference, there was lots of, you know, swag that uh, vendors give out. So I was able to keep this and then I also was able to pack it easily um, on the way back because it's pretty flat. This moto jacket from Nordstrom's and this was on sale so this was on sale from something like $88 was on sale for um, like $40 or $45. Um, it's by Topshop and this is a size 4. Um, it's It was freezing <laughs> when we went so I live on the East Coast and the day that um, I arrived there in Minneapolis it was it, in the East Coast, it was 95 degrees that day. There was some kind of crazy, um, what do they call it, Indian summer when it's, you know, it's October, but it was 95 degrees. Um, but in Minneapolis, it was 50 degrees, and I just wasn't prepared, so I needed a jacket. Like the style. I have um, Christian Louboutin motorcycle boots that match this, and yeah, I just needed a jacket. So it really was utilitarian. Other than Mall of America, um, one of the other sites I visited, um, we went to Prince's Estate Mansion recording studio home, um, was, and it's called Paisley Park. So you know there were there were tours, and so we went on a general admission tour, and um, it was kind of frustrating because we weren't allowed to take any pictures inside the house. Um, but I would I recommend going to see it, even if you're not a huge Prince fan. It was really cool. You got to tour the, you know, his home. It's very industrial like the, the outside of it but um, when you go in you see all those records and you see all the memorabilia there's a gift shop so <laughs> also because I was cold I picked up this hoodie that has a symbol and then on the back it says Paisley Park so I figured I would I always use hoodies it's, I got it a little bigger so it's just really comfortable I also got a mug <laughs> with the same Paisley Park for my backpack I got one of his pins, which you can see right here, it says Paisley, Paisley Park. Um, this this has been my carry-on for all my recent trips. It's a, it's by Base, and I plan on doing a review of, of the Base um, luggage collection soon because I have a lot of pieces. But this is Base is by Shay Mitchell. This is great. This is what I use for work and then for travel. It just has and so many. Um, by the way, the reason I have my entire <laughs> LV monogram collection back here is I just filmed my Louis Vuitton monogram collection and um, you know I work full-time I have three kids I have very limited time when I can film videos and so I usually just batch film a bunch at once so I leave sometimes I just leave whatever's behind me but anyway oh, and the other th great thing about <laughs> the Mall of America in Minnesota is the Nordstrom's has Chanel and they have tons of designer stuff they have an entire Chanel boutique there's a Gucci boutique Chanel ready-to-wear you know all the Chanel bags um, Chanel counter and yeah so I did some damage so I will show it to you right now the first thing I got were a pair of shoes from Chanel and 
comes with two does. bags, and it's these Chanel Ballet Flats. I really wanted the espadrilles. I know a lot of people like those, but they just don't work for me. The, the heel keeps slipping off the back of my feet. Um, it's, this is more comfortable for me. Um, ballet flats are just a lot more comfortable for me to wear. So I just picked these up and they're just such a classic design. And the color, you know, I don't know if it's nude. It's definitely not my nude. I'm, I'm a lot more tan than this color, but um, it still looks uh, pretty chic on. It has the black cap toe with the double C's. And you can see I've already kind of worn these a little bit. The next thing I got was from the Chanel accessories counter in Nordstrom. I got two pieces mm. and I have to shout out Chanel LV because when I saw her unbox this, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. <laughs> so if, if you're watching this, you're gonna know what this is. So this is it. And it's the, it's like a hammered bracelet in light gold with the hammered metal the double C's all around it's a cuff bracelet and this is just my favorite style of bracelet to wear because it's just so easy to you know slip on and off and it really stays on because you can kind of bend it a little bit this is the tag so thank you Chanel LV for bringing this to my attention because I was able to find it and get it yay so I'm actually gonna feature well just a heads up this will be featured in an upcoming tag video I just really love this cuff this is just so my style. It doesn't have any crystals. It's just so easy to wear. And yeah, I've already worn it several times. And actually, if you watch my last Louis Vuitton multi pochette video, um, I was already wearing it. <laughs> so it's not really an unboxing. It's, this is more of a reveal. But probably my most exciting find was this Chanel item. And I will show it to you first. So I don't know if you can tell. So this is a ring box okay it fell out but it's this ring so I don't know if it's zooming in okay oh my gosh so I love this ring it just I've never seen this before I, I knew I wanted a Chanel ring because I have several earrings and now and then I had the bracelet and I was like you know what kind of rings do you have and oh my gosh how cute and the amazing part about this this ring was on sale. So there were a couple Chanel costume jewelry rings that they had them on and he was like, oh my God, nobody has ever been able to, <laughs> to fit that on their finger. So um, life tip, ladies, if you're in the market for Chanel sale items, have small fingers <laughs> so that you're, you can fit into the rings that are on sale that nobody else was able to fit into. Um, there was one ring, it was like a double, kind of like, I call them brass knuckle rings where you put two fingers through and it has like a bar that goes across. And I, so I slipped it on and I was like, okay, and he was like, and the, guy, the sales associate was amazing. He was like, oh my God, he has never been able to see anyone fit into that, into the ring. He said, everybody who tried it on, it just stopped like right at the knuckle and then they couldn't fit it on and they complained about how tiny it was. But, um, luckily for me, so that was a different style ring, but the same thing with this. Um, this is, you know, kind of a smaller size and I was able to fit into it. So here's the tag. So yeah, this is from the 2018 collection. Originally retailed for $8.50, but it was on sale for something crazy like, like four hundred. It was like 40 or 50% off. And I was like, yes, I want it. <laughs> I love this ring. And I wore it all through the rest of the conference, even though it was completely overdressed. I was way overdressed for a lot of the uh, sessions that I was in. But I just, oh my gosh, I love this, yay. So these are the two pieces of jewelry that I picked up. I was thinking maybe I'll get another brooch. So I saw one in the display and it turned out it was what they call a statement earring where it's just one earring and I'll include a picture of me trying it on. One earring that was pretty large, like literally the size of a brooch. And then, you know, so you could wear it as an earring or wear it as a brooch or even a necklace. But I passed on that because I want to take advantage of the sales tax, no sales tax, and it was a pair of Gucci blooms. And I, I was eyeing this for so long, so I was excited to finally be able to get it with no sales tax. And this is it, I just took the care card and everything out of here. And it is Gucci blooms slides. So, oh, it smells so new. So these are the slides. And I love this because I have the matching pink blooms 
Speedy, the smaller Speedy size, and I'd gotten this from the Gucci outlet in New York. Um, I'll link a video to my Woodbury Common Outlets haul and vlog, I guess, but I've been eyeing this because, you know, in the summer I usually just wear sandals. I don't, I rarely wear high heels, I'm only in the office and then, you know, at night if I'm going out, but when I'm running around during the day, I just wear flats. And honestly, this I would wear this in the house, like just as house slippers. Okay, might be a little over the top, but they're just so cute. Maybe like 15 minutes away from Mall of America is another mall called Adina Gallery or Adina Galleria. They had the Louis Vuitton and Tiffany's, there was a David Yurman. So it's kind of a smaller and uh, more upscale mall. And so I got something from the Louis Vuitton. It's a small thing. And as a hint, again, I took advantage of the no sales tax on items that you wear. Um, so I will do an official unboxing of this. And it's another bandeau. <laughs> so because it's a bandeau is considered a scarf or something that you wear, there was no tax on this either. Um, and this is so cute and it's kind of really outside of what I normally would oh, it's wear. Called Voyage Extraordinaire. And I just love this. First of all, it has a sea turtle and that's such my spirit animal because I'm a scuba diver. <laughs> so I just love sea turtles. And it has you know, all these other animals, but then mixed in are LV bags. So there's a tiger, butterfly, um, what else is on there? Leopard or cheetah or something. There's an, oh, then it flips over because kind of tiny on the side and an elephant. And then there's a trunk. And the other side has all the pieces. <laughs> and the animals are just chilling on them. So it's the old, you know, the hard-sided luggage. But then look, it even has my Palm Springs mini backpack. Um, it has all the trunks, what do they call it? Alzair and Bisten. Um, there's the keep all. There's the Palm Springs backpack again. Yeah, it's just, I mean, how cute. Even, and then here's the other side. Keep all again. There's the Christopher. <laughs> so. Yeah, I just, oh, even look, this side has the, a book. So yeah, I just, I really liked all the pieces on there. You know, it's, it's all the, kind of the historic LV pieces, but then mixed in are the, the newer pieces. And even though it's, it's pretty colorful, the colors are kind of subdued. And so I think it would really go with my own confidential and then even my jungle uh, print bandeau. So it will kind of complement each other. And then my final, final thing, I already did a video, an entire separate video on this, uh, but I'm including this in this haul because I did receive it in Minneapolis. It's, it's the new Louis Vuitton multi-pochette bag and I'll link, a, I'll link my video below. I had pre-ordered this at my local LV, but when it, it arrived the day before I was leaving for my trip and so um, my essay actually overnighted it to the hotel. So it's part of my collective haul because I did receive it while I was on my work trip. Um, even though it was technically from my, my home store. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into it too much. If you're interested in this, definitely check out the video below. So that was my collective haul video of my recent trip to Minneapolis and the Mall of America, where I picked up a ton of stuff, <laughs> including my newest Louis Vuitton multi-pochette bag, um, Chanel shoes, my Gucci flats, and then my favorite of this trip and probably the standout is this Chanel ring and the bracelet. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.